So I have a testimony. I want you to go with me to the book of Kings, 1 Kings 18. Get your coffee, get your tea, and get me. And understand we always here at 730. 1 Kings, 1 Kings. I want to tell you a testimony because Texas is January 2025. I want to tell you my own personal text testimony. People said, let's rock. And so even though I'm in my house right now because I'm not feeling well and I'm using wisdom. Someone, someone, someone said, finally, Texas. I'm using wisdom. You've got to use wisdom. Misha, bless you. Ah, excuse me for a minute. Excuse me for a minute. Misha Wilson, prophetically, thus said the Lord, I need you to get yourself ready for a, another location. I need you to understand that your labor is not in vain and everything that you've sold, not just in your family's tears, but even in your mother and close friends, do not understand that it may seem hard now. But Holy Spirit said to tell you that you have to prepare yourself for another location. Do not be afraid to look at areas in Atlanta, Georgia. Does that mean that you're going to move? It means that your business will be vi vo vocational. That means bivocational. That means you're going to be a presence in one area, but you're going to be a voice in another because you have to understand the season of momentum concerning these businesses. And when you came up the timeline, don't be afraid to allow that second business to be in Atlanta, Georgia. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. Go with me to 1 Kings 18. 1 Kings 18, hear me. And Elijah said to Ahab, Elijah is now speaking to Ahab. He says, go and eat and drink. Go eat and go and drink. Hear me. God bless you, Keisha. Hear me. Go eat and go drink. For there is a sound of rain. But not just rain. This rain is heavy. There is a sound of heavy rain. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. So Ahab went off and he ate and he drank. He did exactly what the prophet told him to do. But Elijah, he climbed on top of Mount Carmel. And then he bent down to the ground. And he put his face between his legs. Hear me. Why would you put your face between your leg when you hear the sound of an outpour? Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. He did exactly what Holy Spirit said, but I did not understand why would you send your prophet to a place where you have an expectation of a downpour and he puts his face between his knees. Hear me. He put his face between his knees. So that means that he was sitting down with his knees or bending down, kneeling, kneeling. You hear a sound, but you do something else. You hear a sound, but you do something else. He said, there's going to be heavy rain. And he began to kneel instead of looking up to prepare for the outpour. So many of you, God, are saying you're going to do something and something is going to happen. But what happens is you do the opposite of your expectation because you can't tell me that it's going to rain and I not look up because I hear the sound of the outpour. But I put my posture in another position. Some of your posture is not in the right position to recognize your promise. 1,107 people go and look towards the sea. Go and look towards the sea, he told his servant. And he went, and then he looked up. There's nothing absolutely there. There is nothing. There is nothing, he said. There is absolutely nothing. So change my posture to see and receive nothing. Joy said, you're talking heavy already. Listen to me, Joy said. Joy, the boss, hear me. You want me to do something that I expect, but it's not what I'm seeing. So I don't expect anything. I don't expect nothing if it's not looking like what I've expected. Seven, one of you want to put that prophetic number, hear me. Seven times Elijah said, what I want you to do is go back. I'm not doing that. I need you to go back. I'm not doing that. Hold on. Watch this. I did not say go back to the person that caused you pain. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. Go back. No. 
<laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Because Lot's wife looked back, but she didn't go back. She looked back. Back can be a blessing for somebody. But back could be brokenness for when you're trying to get home. Watch this. Seven times the servant reported. Well, since you sent me for a report, I do see a cloud. And it is as small as the hand of a man. And it is rising from the sea. You see. So Elijah said, go and tell Ahab. Ahab, hear me. Hitch. Hitch up your chariot and go. Hitch up your chariot and go. Hitch up your chariot and go. Watch this. Don't be afraid to move when he tells you. Watch this. He said, he gave a command. He said, hitch up your chariot. Some of you, hear me, 1,227 people, you are afraid to move when Holy Spirit said it's time. Hear me? Hitch up your chariot. You've been waiting for this opportunity. Hitch up your chariot. Hitch it up. And go. Go down. The rain may stop you. Go, 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 go. He hitched up his chariot. And he ran before the rain stopped. Meanwhile, I need everyone to put this word up here. Meanwhile, M-E-A-N-W-H-I-L-E. -E. Meanwhile. Meanwhile specifically means that there is coming a time. It's another fancy word to say, hold on, wait. It's another way to say, um, in the meantime. It means something is going to happen. It's almost like that conjunctive word, but. That while you are working, meanwhile, God is working a miracle on your behalf. Meanwhile, the sky grew black with the clouds. And the wind rose and heavy rain started to fall. And Ahab's robe, he rode off. He rode off to Jezreel. Ahab, while he hitched his horse, he began to run. Then the power of the Lord came on Elisha and he took his cloak, his robe, and he tucked it into his belt and he took off. He tucked his robe or his cloak or his tunic inside of his belt because he wasn't stupid. He realized the move of God was happening. He ran so fast. He ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. May the Lord and a blessing to the reading of this fine word. I'm speaking to 1,222 people who are in the meanwhile season. You are in the meanwhile season. You are in the meanwhile season, but that's not what the Holy Spirit wants me to tell you. He wants me to tell you, I listen to you. It may not look like it now. It may not look like it now. But it's just what you prayed for. Hear me? You're stuck in the meanwhile. It, 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 it may not look like what I prayed for right now. But I'm going to guarantee you something. It's just what you prayed for. Okay, y'all want to do that this morning? Y'all want to cry? Go ahead and cry with faith. It may not look like it now. But it is just what you pray for. You are in the season of meanwhile. Ah, it is a holding period where God is working things out for your good. Mm -hmm.